Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the tutorial of method time measurement. One of the implementation of method time measurement is one of the alternative that can be chosen in increasing company productivity by optimizing existing resources, namely operators, by minimizing errors while answering occupational health issues. In the industry that has been improved with technology in the form of conveyors, from the installation, we analyze whether there is actually an improvement or not. So that later we can find out whether or not it is appropriate to invest in the conveyor. This is where we can find an example of the essence of method time measurement. By calculating standard time and saving time available, we can know that assessing working conditions are better, not good or good, but not optimal. So then we can provide recommendations for either engineering control or administrative control in order to optimize standard time. The objective of this tutorial first is practitioners know about the concept of the time measurement method or MTM in the indirect measurement application. Second, the practitioner can identify the elements basic movement. Third, Practitioner can calculate standard time and time saving. Fourth, practitioner can analyze the result of the TMU scores and recommends motion optimization based on the assembly process. The input and the output of this tutorial. For the input, first is prefix and proposed layout. Second is video recording of prefix and proposed layout. And then for the output, first the MTM table. Second is standard time, and third is time saving. Work measurement. Previously, we already learned about direct work time measurement. Here, we will learn about the indirect measurement on predetermined motion time system. Indirect measurement itself is work time measurement made by looking for all these variables first, then calculating mathematically to obtain the measurement result. Predetermined time system itself is measure the time of each element of the movement to determine the time to complete a job by synthesizing the appropriate motion. There is predetermined time system in here divided into two methods. First is MTM or method time measurement. The, standard, uh, the MTM is the standard timeline study which developed from a motion study. The analysis is based on the basic movement deployed by the operators and working on filament condition or the equipment. The second one is Minard Operation Sequence Technique or MOST. It is the development of the study of determining the standard time too, but focuses more on the movement of the object. But in this tutorial, we will focus on method time measurement. Method time measurement is predetermined time standard application system which is developed based on study of work motion images on an industrial work operation recorded on film or video. From the picture that sound, there are four working areas, namely, left hand MOX working area is the farthest left hand motion coverage area of 20% or 22, 3 divided 4 inches. And second, right hand maximum working area is the farthest right hand motion coverage area of 20 degrees or 22, 3 per 4 inches. And then normal working area is the normal hand movements. And then there is white area or area with no shading is the uncomfortable part for hand movements. Next is time measurement unit or TMU. In this tutorial, we will do a work motion analysis using a map of the right hand and the left hand. In the analysis, we will use a help table that contains the value of the existing time. The time is in TMU. 1 TMU is equal to 0.0001 hours or equal to 0.006 minutes or equal to 0.036 seconds. The first one is reach. Hand in motion should see hand movements in more detail like an angel and receive vibration. Hand in motion 
is for the movement where there is a change in speed at the beginning and at the end. It's for the type 2 or no change in, in speed or constant in type 3. For this, in this practicum of tutorial, we only use movement that have a change in speed at the beginning and at the end or in type 1. So don't use hand in motion. In the table, there is four cases. The first case is A is about object whose location is already fixed, where will it be taken? Second case is B, where the location change but the operator can estimate the distance because it is used to doing. And then C is mixed object, uh, there is a select processes. And in D, there is read small object and need tools such as tweezers to make it easier to reach. And the last one is E, whereby moving objects so that they, it has an certain distance and the operator is not used to it. So in here, we will only use from the type one. So we don't use hand in motion. Next is crabs. The case in crabs is 1A is about easy to hold and then 1B is small and and the object that has difficulty to pick up and need a, a tool of the use. And then 1C where the object is cylindrical or in the form of cylindrical and then 2 is for regrabs. 3 is for the hand that receives the displacement but the objects are mixed and it's like fifth just touching. The object that has diameter is measured first on the diameter, so you can proceed to determine which case this DMU that needed to be used. So the first thing that you need to know is whether the object has a diameter or not. And when yours has a diameter, you need to measure it first, and then you can proceed to determine which cases and which DMU that needs to be used. The next is move. The case in move motion are divided into three. The first one is move object to other hand or again stop. And then second is B, move object to approximate or indefinite location. And then the next one is C, move object to exact location. So the next one is Turn. Then in here is the turn on hand, not the object. For example, if you just use your finger, like for finger and thumb, it included a turn movement. And for the determination of the degree, it can be explained properly, or the practitioner can guess because we have a limited condition. So you also need to determine on um, which time you turn your hand. So you can time set by the TMU that you have determined by the degree that you guess. The next one is ugly pressure or AP. The APA symbol is AV and then DM and RLF. It's referred to the trapezoidal graph where the AF is for the ugly pressure occurs when there is more pressure during rotation and then there is DM or dwell minimum is pressed normally or constant and then the last is RLF is release force whereas it's release the pressure and then the second one is IPB symbol is additional regrabs or additional grip usually it consists of APA plus grabs too for example is when holding a screw lever but not comfortable so that the grab is replaced or they receive a regrab for the TMU in full cycle and not the TMU in components. So the, the TMU in components only for the description and for more details or direct use the one in full, cy full cycle table. The next one is release. To determine which TMU there is two cases. The first case is one is removing normally and there is a vertical distance, there is scrubs, and then for the case two is follow followed by contact or touching, there is horizontal distance and touch. The next one is positioning. So there are two classification, namely easy to handle and difficult to handle. 
The determination is subjective. It is according to the operator. The easy to handle means it is easy to hold the object. And then difficult to handle means it is hard to hold the object. The description for the S is for symmetric. It means that the size of the object is to remain in the same position and shape after being divided from its center. For example, is square. And then for SS or semi-symmetric, it means that the size of an object with a different position and shape after dividing it from its center point, for example, is rectangular. And then NS or non-symmetric, it means that if divided from the midpoint, the shape and the position of the object have different sizes. For example, an each angle. And then supplementary rule for the surface area, only as an aid if you want to analyze. For example, if the TMU code is obtained by P1 is E, then the surface is more than 16 inch or less than 4 inch. The example on how to write the code example is P1SE. It means that P as a position, 1 as loose, and S for symmetry, and then E for easy. The next one is disengage. It applies the same for disengage. The difficulty and easiness in handling the object is subjective. It is according to the operator. The description a loose is for an attempt to make a small disengage and it's easy to remove. And then for the close, it's a normal attempt. So there is normal effort and slight require. And the last is type. There should be more effort, like just pulling his hand away until they are apart. So the effort is the considerably high and hand recalls markedly. The next one is the example for the hand movement map. The way to read the hand movement map is the sum or recapitulation of the TMU is the increment of the right hand and the left hand. Now the right hand TMU is added alone, then the TMU left hand is added alone. That's not right. If there is a case where the right hand and the left hand perform the same movement at one time, the TMU that is being used is the longer one. So the next one is the conversion count. For the TMU or time measurement unit, one TMU is equal to one times time power by minus five hours equal to 0 0.006 minutes equal to 0 0.036 seconds. And then for the distance, one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. And then for the mass object, one pound or one LBS is equal to 0 0.453592 kilograms and 1 kilograms is equal to 2.205 pounds or LBS. So the last word is standard time saving. And the saving time calculation, it is needed the recapitulation of standard time using the DMV from prefix and purpose layout from the hand movement map. From the time saving formula, it can be known or find out how much the purpose layout could save the TMU of the prefix layout in the percentage. So here is the formula for the time saving. The formula is time saving equal to prefix layout standard time minus purpose layout standard time divided to prefix layout standard time times by 100%. So, okay, that's all for the tutorial of Metal Time Measurement. Well done, thank you for listening and watching the videos. And the last is there is a hadith, and Allah will always have his servant when his servant help his brother. Hadith Muslim number 2699. Thank you, goodbye, and see you in the next tutorial.